this video goes along with drawing 30. I will go with you step by step for each one of the points to draw this design. You're going to need the instruction sheet, a large sheet of white paper, a compass, a mechanical pencil or a sharpened wooden pencil, and a ruler. Step one says draw a six inch square near the center of your paper. Okay, to draw a six inch square, what we're going to do first is we are going to use the edges of our paper. Our paper we know has correct right angles. So we're going to use that to draw a square with right angles. So using the end of your ruler, line it up with the end of your paper so that it's flat. That way we know that this line is going to be parallel to the top of our paper. And then we're going to draw a six inch square. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to kind of put it in the center, but maybe not exactly in the center. It's 18 inches wide. So if we divide six by 18, what does that give? give us, let's see, we've got 6, 12, 18. So that's three times. So if we wanted it to be in the middle, we would go 6 is one third, and then from 18 to 12 is one third. So the middle third would be from the 6 to the 12. So, okay, I went a little bit past that. So do you see this was six inches, this is six inches, and then this is six inches because it's 18 inches and that's three sixes. So we wanted the middle six inches. So we have a six inch part of our square. Now to draw the sides of our square, we're going to use the top of our paper, line up the ruler to the top of the paper so that it's flat. That makes this perpendicular to the top of our paper. And it gives us a 90 degree right here, which is what we want for the square. So since this is already on the 1, we're going to go down all the way to 7, because that would be 6 inches, 1, 2, three, four, five, six inches right here. So we've got six inches here, we've got six inches here, and this is 90 degrees. Now for the bottom of the square, line up the edge of your ruler to the side of the paper. Make sure it's flat. Just push your finger on the end so that it's flush. And then it lines up right here at the six. So we're going to go from the 6 to the 12. And now we have the bottom part of our square. We've got one more side. We're going to connect this side to this side. Make sure that our ruler, the top of our ruler, is flat at the top of the page. And find the ends of our lines. And draw our next side. So now we have a square it's not quite in the center of our page. We could have dropped down a little bit more, but um, it's okay. Step two, draw two lines that connect the diagonal corners of the square. So a diagonal goes from like right to left or left to right. It's kind of a sideways line. So opposite ends, we're gonna draw, connect opposite ends of the square to form a diagonal line. The same thing on the other side. Opposite ends of the square form a diagonal line. Step three, center a circle with a radius of three inches inside the square. So now we're going to need the compass. We're going to use the intersecting points of those two diagonal lines as the center for our circle. So put a dot on the center, put the metal point of the compass on the dot, Put your finger on the metal point of the compass to hold it down. That way the compass will rotate around your finger. But keep your finger still. 
and we're going to draw a circle with a three inch radius. So we're not going to use the outside of the compass, we're going to use the inside. It says one R, one and a half R, those are, that's the radius. Two R, three R, and it has an arrow pointing to this point, and draw a circle. It should hit the sides of your square. Now we have a three inch radius. Radius is from the center point up to the outside of the circle of three inches inside a six inch square. Step four, connect the points where the lines intersect the circle to form another square. Okay, so where this line intersects this circle, I'm gonna place a dot here, where this line intersects, touches this circle, where this line intersects or touches the circle, and where this line intersects and touches that circle. Now I have four points. Now it wants you to connect those four points to make a smaller square. So use the ruler. Step five, center a circle with a radius of two inches inside the square. So we're gonna use the same center point. Put the metal point on that center point. Put your finger on the metal point. We're gonna find two R, has an arrow pointing. Put your pencil in that point. And we're gonna draw a circle with a two inch radius inside that square. Step six, connect the points where the lines intersect the circle to form another square. So where this line touches this two inch radius circle, we're gonna place dots, and then we're gonna connect those four dots to make a smaller square. And next step seven, center a circle with a radius of one and one half inches inside the square. So put the metal point on the center point, put your finger on the metal point. We're gonna draw a circle with a one and a half inch radius. Connect the points where the lines intersect the circle to form another square. So where this line touches the circle, where the line touches the circle, where this line touches the circle, where this line touches the circle. We're going to draw another square using the ruler. Make sure you use the ruler. Don't freehand it because if you freehand it, your lines are not going to be nice and crisp and straight. They're going to kind of look like it's melting and it doesn't make a really clear design. Next step, center a circle with a radius of one inch inside the square. So place the metal point on the center point, place your finger on the metal point. A one inch radius is kind of hard to see. It's where it says compass right here, the C. It has a little arrow pointing to this first dot. Now we have a circle with a one inch radius. Connect the points where the lines intersect the circle to form another smaller square. Use your ruler to connect those four dots.
And last step, color neatly. You can use markers, crayons, colored pencils. Um, color it really neatly. You can go over your lines with um, more pressure so that the outline is darker and then the color inside of it use less pressure like a crayon or a colored pencil so that it's a lighter color or you can go over these lines with a sharpie and then color on the inside to give it like a stained glass effect.